Hi there, uh, very happy vapor, and this time actually, um, it, it, what I have to, what I want to talk about is not any specific either electronic cigarette or uh, or juice or anything else like that. I um, wanted to tell you about a little experiment that I uh, set up. Um, a little while ago I read about a study that was done on smokers um, uh, who tried uh, electronic cigarettes. It's just about people in the street. Um, and the result, uh, at least according to the article, was that they had, after smoking an e-cigarette, they did not register any nicotine in their bloodstream. So the conclusion that um, was given in that article was that nicotine from electronic cigarettes uh, does not get absorbed. If uh, 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 Since then I've done some research and um, there is some indication that the nicotine doesn't get as absorbed as much or as fast as it does from uh, real tobacco cigarettes. There's lots of reasons given for that. Um, so what I wanted uh, to do is I wanted to test that uh, a little. And um, the fact that the nicotine does not get absorbed as well um, actually um, does confirm uh, what I felt when I first uh, switched to electronic cigarettes, is that I did feel some uh, effects of nicotine withdrawal. They were much um, more subtle than uh, actually quitting cold turkey and um, also much easier to deal with. Um, I could have another e-cigarette and um, I, I could uh, keep the level of nicotine in the cartomizers um, uh, higher. So. Um, so I was able to deal with that. But I decided to perform my own little experiment, obviously not scientific in any way, uh, because it's just me. I bought a cheap uh, nicotine uh, test kit, the kind that you get to test your teenage kids, for example, for smoking. Uh, um, a, a little uh, white thing. Uh, it's a urine test. Um, and I performed that on myself just to see if there, uh, if no nicotine was absorbed from uh, electronic cigarettes, then I should have uh, showed up as a non-smoker on this, and I would have had two lines. Um, whereas if there is any nicotine in the urine, um, then um, I would have had one line. I have been uh, exclusively on electronic cigarettes uh, for certainly more than long enough. Um, if there was no nicotine coming in for it to show a uh, negative. So I performed the test. Uh, let's see if I can make it clear. There we go. Okay, you can see a single line. Okay, rather than two lines. Let's make sure you can see it there. You can see a single line in the big window. Uh, zero nicotine would have been two lines. So I have performed the experiment and confirmed that yes, at least some nicotine does get uh, into, uh, into your urine. So you are receiving some nicotine from electronic cigarettes. However, there is enough research there uh, that uh, shows that the uh, absorption of nicotine is not as efficient. And that supports my recommendation that when you initially switch to electronic cigarettes from tobacco cigarettes, you should not worry about the level of nicotine. You should not uh, be trying to match the level of nicotine in the electronic cigarette to your regular uh, tobacco cigarette brand, you should be trying to get uh, the nicotine that you need, uh, even if it means seeing some fairly high numbers on the uh, nicotine content of the juice or the cartridges that you are using. So thank you very much. This was my little experiment here to confirm that yes, electronic cigarettes do uh, contain nicotine and that it does get into your bloodstream.